You're right, guys, Gary back again. Today, having a look at this one. This is Masterpiece MP27 Ironhide. Uh, he was released this week. I've had him for a few days now and just playing about and transforming him. I really like it. Uh, this is the box. It's got a nice picture of the van and the bot and the Nissan logo and Cybertron security. And he changes into a Nissan Cherry Vanette. And I, I do remember seeing a lot of those in the 80s. So, uh, quite popular. On the side I've got a picture of him looking all pointy. Uh, nothing on the top. Picture of the van. Really nice. On the back, uh, lots of Japanese, which uh, I can't read, but pictures of everyone. He fits quite well in the trailer and he's really big compared to Bumblebee. And lots of accessories, which I do quite like. And then, uh, yeah, some I'm guessing that's details about the Vanette itself. And awesome. Uh, I picked this up from Kapow Toys. Uh, with my order, they also included the Masterpiece coin. There it is. I'm not quite sure how I'm, well, what I'm supposed to do with these. I mean, I've got the Defense Warriors. Defense Warriors? Unite Warriors Defensal. So um, I've got a coin for that one. Never did get around to making a video for that. Might have to rectify that at some point. Inside the box you get the instructions and you also get the uh, collector's card. Which I do quite like. I really do like the artwork on this. Uh, Transformers Masterpiece MP27. Stats and stuff on the back. Product shots. Nice. But we don't care too much about that. We're here for this guy. And in hands, this is a really well-made figure. I really do like the art mode, and I like the de the level of detail they've put into the paint jobs, where it kind of looks like you know it's not quite fitting in, but according to the box, that's how it's supposed to look, and I'm not going to argue with that. You know, it all clips together really nicely. Well, it does clip to it does it. I'll change that. It does clip together really nicely. It's just I'm have trouble. Uh, but yeah, in the front you can see the old weird face that kind of reminds me of the G1 toy. I didn't have the G1 toy, so I'm not too fussed about that. Um, side view, rear view, you can see a bit of the transformation stuff in there, but that's fine. Uh, top, you've got a little peg to plug the weapons in. Uh, got one just to the side. go. There we go. Holds in pretty well. If we get them in a lineup with Optimus Prime and Bumblebee from the Masterpiece series, that's the gold version I got just before Christmas, uh, looks looks quite at home there. You know? There it is. And just for completion's sake, we'll bring in Prime's trailer. Ta-da! So when he's uh, a bit injured or a bit tired, we can just pack him in. Although, why would you want to do that? I'm not too sure, it's just something I thought of. Now, transformation for Ironhide is relatively straightforward. Uh, it's more technical than I thought it was going to be, but a um, couple of a couple of places I have problems with, and we'll, I'll show you those in a minute. Uh, so, to go from that to bot mode, we go. Let's uh, unpop it there, unpop it there, then that pops up like that. These side bits pop out. Like so, and then you can actually pop that bit down, pop that forward. One thing I have noticed on my one, the joints, oh, the hinges are actually really tight. So 
so tight that occasionally I do think like I'm going to break it. Uh, flip the hand out, pop that bit down first of all, then pop that bit round, and then unfold that and clip it into there. Same on the other side. So out, out, pop, rotate, down, down, oop. There, and then out, and that's the arms. You then pop this forward there. Oh, I left that bit up. That should be like that. And uh, yeah, that pops down like that. Pop that there. Come up to the top here. Fold that down. Fold that out. Showing off his head. I've got the uh, oh, screamy face in there. There we go. Right, sorry about that. Face fell off. So, out, out. This part confused me on the original transformation because the instructions, to me, the instructions didn't uh, make too much sense. But you're going to lift the arms up so they're there and there. And then this bit is going to have to go down. Uh, providing the hinge doesn't fight me like it normally does. Pop it in there. Then these two little tabs actually fold down to clip the arms in. Which I think is a nice touch. So there we go, we've got him in... Uh... Oh, don't wait. Almost there. Uh, we're going to turn him around now and unpop the legs. Uh, rotate the foot. Pop the bumper back. That makes his heel. Rotate the other foot. Pop that bumper back. So you can see the legs starting to form already. You're then going to pop this. No, you're not. You're going to come around to the wheels. You're going to fold them out and then fold them back in on themselves. Nice tight hinges, of course. Do that. Then this bit pops out like that and it just spins around there. And then this bit folds back and it clips around that bit, and it's the same on the other side, and down like that, pull them down, that actually came out while I was doing that, so you pull the legs down so he's got his knee joint, and then rotate the feet, come up to the side, these bits out there. Something, everything's so much harder to do with a camera in front of you. Oh, it's because he's still connected in there. So, out, out. Then you pop that bit down. Rotate that 90 degrees. Push it in. Fold the tyre back in on itself, and then they tab into these little holes here, up, in, in, might take a little bit of jiggling, but there we go, and then last bit, 
Oh, I'm going to raise the camera for this. There we go. Right, last bit is popping the front of the vehicle up and then clipping them in just there. And here he is in bot mode. And like I said at the start of the video, I really like this figure. He's really well made. Really well made, if I remember to transform him correctly. And just looks amazing. Posability, his head does do the full 360 turn. It can look up that much. It does look down that much, although it moves a little bit further forward due to his... Well, that's a bit weird. There you go. His head does look up and it looks down. Arm wise, he can lift his arms to about there because of the way the shoulder joint is and goes back to about there. He's got you know, good 90 degrees on his arm, elbow. He has limited chest rotation. Uh, his legs go back that far and forward pretty much all the way because of the way his uh, crotch bit hinges out. But just, it looks a bit weird. And he can go pretty much 90 degrees. He does have really good balance though if I'm on a flat surface. Uh, his ankles do have a little bit of a pivot, left and right, and oh, forward and backwards so far, so we can get some nice poses in. Scale wise, in bot mode. So there he is with Optimus Prime and Bumblebee in bot mode. They do look really nice together. Also included in the box uh, comes all the accessories, and they actually store really nicely on the uh, battle sled. Which, if I remember rightly, sort of was included with the G1 toy, but I can't remember whether it was actually part of the toy. In the Masterpiece release, they have uh, put it as a separate bit. I think it's, it looks really nice. It's a good place to store everything anyway. So, all of these accessories, plus the standard Ironhide face. Uh, this is the face he actually comes with. But, uh... Raise the camera a little bit. Changing the face is pretty easy, and you might have noticed I knocked it a few times during transformation. To get the face off, press back on the back of his head. Nice and simple. And then you just kind of pop it back in, being careful not to tap it back out again. And there he is, just looking all stern and thoughtful. Um, rest of the accessories included in the box are the back-mounted rocket launcher that appeared in one episode, I think. The two generic Autobot blasters, uh, so you can recreate his final moments from the original animated movie. The static laser cannon, so uh, you can pretend you've still got your G1 toy. The wrist-mounted uh, radar that was in the episode when they built the Dinobots, featuring this snazzy little X-ray pop-in you put in behind your shoe, uh, windscreen. Thanks, Paul, on Transformers and such for actually telling me what that was. His jetpack uh, from that one episode where he used a jetpack. He didn't come. He doesn't come with a flight stand, so um, yeah, I'm not quite sure how to pose him on my shelf. I might pick up some of the Takara ones from Kapow. He also comes with a set of nozzles and hands. So to put the, those on, you unpop the wrist, put that back into fist mode. 
So it goes that way in, pull it back up, leaving this little tab here. And with this little tab you can add spray fingers, fire nozzle, and strange red nozzle that I don't actually know what's from, but think they just had a bit of red plastic left over, so threw it in. So yeah, that was MP27 Ironhide. Uh, I personally think he's one of the best figures I've bought in the last few months. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, leave comments down below and uh, we'll see what happens. As always, I'm Gary. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, leave a like and let me know what your thoughts. Uh, hopefully, it won't be too long before my next one. So, uh, until next time. See ya.